So for us, uh, it looks good too. Uh, get everything done this week, and this weekend looks stellar because next week the heat's coming back. All right. And let's talk about summer. So far, 70 degree days. We've had 24. You know what's funny is we've had more 80 degree days so far this summer. Hmm, interesting. 31. And of course, 90 degree days. We've had eight so far. How does that compare with last year? That sad summer, we only had five. And then 2022, wow, 21. And then 2021, we had 24. And 2020, we had 14. This one seems like it's going to go into the teens. Hmm, 20 would be a reach, but you know, August can really sizzle. Lots of clouds, cooler temperatures tomorrow. So, a passing shower in select spots. Are you one of those select spots? Well, I'd love to say you are <laughs> or aren't. But that's something that's really difficult to forecast. You know, even with AI and uh, quantum uh, computing, we still have not mastered that exact placement of showers in this kind of a setup. But it's less humid by the end of the week. We're pretty confident in that. And, of course, we're very confident in the weekend forecast. The fires are still going out west, and the smoke plume is incredible across most of the lower 48 and across Canada, too. We get these little tufts that come through. A little bit of it tomorrow and a little bit more on Thursday. Look at this in the afternoon. Hmm. Will you notice this? You bet you will because the sun will be out and it will be a milky sky or a hazy sky and it'll have that kind of brownish tint to it. So morning and now Thursday, it's back, that smoky sky. 75 is our temperature for today and that's it for the high. 79 in Bedford, we've cooled down a little bit, but the dew points remain in the 60s, so you can still call it humid. And we'll do that for the next couple of days until it drops by the end of the week. Nary a shower, I'll show you the radar. What's this kind of setup, all this humid air? You'd think you'd put it to work, right? Well, the next weather system just limping along again, so I don't anticipate this is a washed-out day. We will have that threat for wet weather. It seems like it's in the afternoon, but it's now lower at 30%. That's a 70% chance that you won't see a shower tomorrow. So 40% was earlier. Now it's down to 30. So again, not confident on the shower placement. But it seems that maybe through New Bedford and out through Chatham, we have our best chance of seeing some wet weather. Boston also maybe a quick sprinkle. But again, a lot of clouds really the theme in that easterly wind. So that's what keeps our temperature down. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot of placement here for heavy rain. And the amounts seem to be less than a tenth of an inch. So there's that too. Tomorrow's forecast about 72 degrees. I told you it cooled off a little bit, even out through Lowell, Framingham, and straight down to Attleboro, close by in Newton, up into Woburn, and also in a new report and south towards um, Marshfield. You're still in the mid-70s. We're really not moving the needle until we get to Thursday and the winds are out of the southwest. Then we start generating some more heat, too. And we could pop up a thunderstorm, too, a passing storm on Thursday. That chance also about 30 percent. So we're not looking at a lot of water coming out of these clouds. Friday, we have sea breezes and drier air in place. And already we're thinking about next week and the extended heat wave to come. that starts on Monday, could last until Thursday and into Friday. And it looks like lots of humidity with that, too, and chances of storms as well. So the weekend, wow, that looks pretty good. 85 and 84 degrees, respectively, Sunday and Saturday. So enjoy.